Hi guys, welcome once again to Overlord Countdown. Just a few days of 2020 left and we are here again with another retrospection. It was a pretty big year when it comes to consoles. Some big exclusives arrived and raked in those huge numbers in the box office. Huge takeaways as far as PS4 exclusives are concerned and while the next couple of years are associated with PS5, it's bye-bye as far as PS4 games are concerned and they will be half shared with the PS5 in the near future. So making myself and everything else clear, here are the top 5 PS4 exclusives games of 2020. Before watching further, I do request you all to like, share and subscribe and make sure you click that bell icon for more countdown videos. Starting at number 5 is Final Fantasy 7 Remake. It is less of a remake and more of a complete reinvention. It interchanges turn-based combat with exciting real-time action and expands the first leg of original story by dozens of hours. This game only covers the events that take place in the city of Midgar, where Cloud Strife and his freedom-fighting allies battle the evil Shinra corporation that run it. This game has great character switching depending on the job in hand, damage, control and more often feels like switching weapons in a game. The combat is pretty much top-notch, great enemy variety and seeing this snippet of story fleshed out with real emotional arcs and the previously hidden humanity behind Midgar is filled with pure joy. As you progress almost 25 to 30 hours of the game, the battle system gets more and more intriguing with very less messed up camera angles and aerial combat. Overall, it's a very good remake to be played as a PS4 exclusive and it had already raked in good numbers with positive impressions that the franchise was lacking for a long time. Coming at number 4 is Neo 2. Neo 2 is a direct successor of the 2018 samurai based game Neo and honestly is yet another successful soul slashing game which keeps your ego in check. Neo 2 takes everything the original game built and evolves it magnificently adding all sorts of new nuances to the combat with modest difficulty AI. While Neo had put you in control of a fictionalized version of real-life sailor and western samurai, Neo 2 instead goes the route of the mute custom created character which is the great part. William was already basically a mute in the first game so not much on that front is lost and the character created in Neo 2 is amazing allowing you some truly impressive looking protagonists. Neo 2's star show is a combat with substantial additions in equipable skills borrowing some of those elements from the Castlevania series. To much of my shock this game released as a PS4 exclusive and till today I'm having no idea why a PC version wasn't brought up. Maybe exploiting the sales was their motive or a proper soul slasher playable for PS4 was much in demand. Neo 2 is an impressive evolution in the souls genre, strengthening everything and leaving its already existing issues alone. Its stellar combat is elevated by addition of soul cores, burst counters and the ways in which those two main new mechanics affect enemy AI and how you approach battles. Its depth is impressive for console's sake even though that can also make it feel a little overwhelming due to how much time must be spent managing its combat and loot systems making it one of the most rewarding games for the PlayStation. Coming at number 3 is Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales. You got to applaud Insomnia Games and Sony for using their platform to include issues and groups of people into video games that for the most part have been non-existent or have forgettable characters. Miles Morales does an amazing job with introducing characters and issues that are relevant to the times which is actually refreshing. Miles Morales was also a glorious introduction to PS5 with improved lighting and particle effects to make New York City gleeful. Marvel's Spider-Man established Miles' role alongside Peter Parker and this solo outing makes it clear just how much room there is in Manhattan for multiple Spider-Men to showcase their metal. Spider-Man Miles Morales follows in the smart storytelling footsteps of the original game and on gameplay level you are free to explore the full map. Much of the story itself is rooted in or inevitably returns to Harlem. Miles keeps coming back home as a teenager living with his mom during the holidays. We get to know his whole apartment as well as the neighboring blocks around him as familiar shopkeeps pop up in side missions and the main story. Overall Miles Morales is not packed with content as its predecessor but it stands out as an essential story in Insomniac's Spidey universe. It earns its spot as a fantastic follow up telling a wonderful Miles specific story while improving upon the fundamentals of the first game with distinctive moves and enemies. It's an excellent way to break in your new PS5, looks spectacular, loads fast and makes good use of DualSense controller, the directional audio and more. Regardless of which generation you play it on, it's definitely a worthy follow up to one of the best superhero games ever made. 
coming at number two is the last of us part two okay so there are many doubts raising why this classic is languishing at the number two spot i would be clearing the air later in this video on that and from my side the last of us has been one of the rarest beloved games of the last decade that not only didn't demand a sequel but actively seemed to resist the idea of one its story is largely poignant because of how self-contained it is, not knowing what happened between Joel and Ellie after his fateful decision burned a mark into the brains of many who played it, and that open-ended question has lingered for years. With The Last of Us Part 2, developer Naughty Dog has reached a position of unassailable greatness with a profound story that gives it a reason to exist, but also deep and satisfying evolutions to the original third-person stealth and action gameplay. I can't tell much about some of part 2's best aspects but not because I don't want to. I am bursting to talk with anyone about all the moving, uplifting and heart-wrenching moments that have been playing in my mind ever since this adventure game came out. Like one of the good things that ever happened in 2020. Ellie's journey grows into something way more ambitious that definitely handles a war on the streets of post-zombie apocalypse, an expansive new cast of characters and gut-wrenching moments of the powerful ending that left us steering over the last seven years. Overall, Last of Us Part 2 has taken large strides forward in nearly every way. Ellie steps into the spotlight and carries the sequel in a manner that feels like the culmination of everything that's made Naughty Dog earn the Golden Globe Awards this year and making it more memorable for years to come. Finally, at number 1 is Ghost of Tsushima. I honestly giving a very good take at this. Ghost of Tsushima should deservingly be the best PlayStation game this year with more reasons than one. It is an absolutely gorgeous adventure through one of the history's most strikingly beautiful landscapes and that beauty is compounded by one of the best blade to blade combat systems the open world has ever seen. It is a fictional tale told with fictional characters but it's based on the very real invasion of Japan by the Mongol Empire in 1274 that began in the island of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima revolves around this inner conflict as Jin's formative teachings push up against his need to save his homeland at any cost and though it takes a little while to really get going, it's a compelling struggle. Even if Jin himself isn't the most charismatic of protagonists, his foe Katun Khan has charisma in shades. He's one of the most memorable game villains of recent memory thanks to his soft intensity that is oddly calming despite the terrific intentions. There are more reasons for me to keep this ahead of Last of Us cause this one has more gore combat, striking storyline and probably has one of the best mechanics. The only reason Last of Us swiped away the awards was probably the mind numbing storyline and the emotions that followed. Seeing with the critics eye, players will enjoy Ghost of Tsushima more because it's an enormous and densely packed samurai adventure that will leave everyone awestruck in terms of combat, characterization, visuals and its engaging mechanics. When it came for voting, Last of Us took the awards, stagnating Ghost of Tsushima to the runner-up place but deep down everyone knows how extraordinary it was and several issues that have long gone unaddressed in the genre were solved by the Ghost of Tsushima. So that's it from the video guys, we hope for more suggestions in the comment section and your take on some honorable mentions that could join this list. See you in the next countdown video.